Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Good day class. Today we are going to have a quick road safety lesson. Step one, always stop when you get to the road. Step two, you have to make sure to look left, right and left again. And as soon as you don't hear or see any more cars, then you are free to cross the road. Remember everyone, look left, right and left again. Now everyone, I hope that you will continue to cross the road safely. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is properties. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and we rub inside our hands. Uh oh. <laughs> Around our hands in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. <laughs> Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing writing, data handling, and multiplication. For our lesson today, boys and girls, we are all going to start on page 12. On page 12, we are going to be doing a writing exercise. It's going to be our job to look at the picture and then use the words below to write a short story. Then, after that, I would like you to try and read your story to someone. So, let's start by looking at the picture. First, it's asking us, who sank the boat? Now, I'm not sure which one is heavier, but we can definitely make our own conclusions. We have two animals in the boat. We have a cow and a donkey. Then, we can see that they are in the boat. And the question is, who sank the boat? Now, in order for us to do our writing to answer that question, we need to use the words in the box. We have the words donkey, cow, climbed, boat, row, sail, float, water, and friends. So we need to write a short story about what happened or who sank the boat. Let's now try and use some of the words to start our story. 
So the words that I have here that are going to help us to start our story are the words cow, donkey, boat, and climbed. So we're going to use these ones to begin. The first sentence is your introduction sentence. That means that's the one that's going to open the story. So we can say, there was once a cow and a donkey. So we can start with a capital letter T for the word there. Very good. Make sure, boys and girls, that you are shaping your letters correctly and that they are not too big. Now I'm using my finger spacing. There was. Very good. Then finger spacing. And we have the word once. Good job. Finger spacing. A cow. Make sure that all your letters are the correct shape. A cow. Finger spacing. Now, if I put my finger space, boys and girls, will I be able to put the word and? If you said yes, I think I agree with you. So I'm going to try and put the word and. Remember, if a word doesn't fit, that's okay. You can go to the next line. And now we have a new line. A donkey. Good job, everyone. Don't forget your full stop. Now our first sentence says, there was once a cow and a donkey. Full stop. So I have used the word cow and I've used the word donkey. The next word I want to use is boat. So I'm going to say they climbed into a boat. That way, I'll also use the word climbed. So, I begin where I left off my work. The full stop there, and then we have capital letter T. To say, they, mm-hmm, finger spacing, climbed, There we go. Good job. And make sure that all the letters that are supposed to touch the top line, touch the top line. They climbed, finger space, and I want to write into, and I'm sure it fits. There we go. Now I have a finger space, but I want to put the word a. Uh. I don't think it's going to fit comfortably. So I can go to the next line, a new line, into a finger space boat. Now remember, all the letters must be the correct shape. So you can take your time and don't forget your full stop. So now I have two sentences. There was once a cow and a donkey. They climbed into a boat. I have used the word cow and donkey. Now I've used the word boat and climbed. So the rest you can do by yourselves. Tell us who sank the boat. Use all the words and if you need to repeat some of the words, that's okay, like the word donkey or the word cow. Have fun and make sure that you answer the question, who sank the boat? I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi.
Now, boys and girls, let's all go to page 13. On page 13, we are going to be doing data handling. It's going to be our job to read this information and then make a pictograph out of the information. It says, the following table shows the number of bricks sold in a week. We can see that on Monday, there were 30, Tuesday, 25, Wednesday, 40, Thursday, 30, and Friday, 35. So it's going to be our job to make sure that we make a pictograph. Now remember, one brick that we draw is representing five bricks. So to help us, you need to remember that we are counting in fives for each brick. So I'm going to show you the pictograph that I have drawn using the information above. Let's take a look. Now the pictograph we can see is one way all the bricks have been said for the days. You can see that on Monday, the 30 bricks that were, told, that were sold are all here. Same for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Now that we have actually drawn it, I want you to do it the same. Remember, one brick is only five bricks. So this is why we are counting in tens. Make sure that each brick that you draw is representing five. Now, after you are done drawing your bricks on your pictograph, it's now time to answer some other questions. So let's take a look at number two. Number two says, answer all the questions based on the information above. A says, on which day were the most bricks sold? On which day were the most bricks sold? So you have to look at your pictograph and then after looking at your pictograph, you are going to pick the highest number of bricks. Let's take a look at D. D says, on which two days were the same number of bricks sold? Which means you have to write down two of the days that the bricks were sold, the same amount. So take your time with all of them boys and girls. And when you are done with your pictograph, that's when you can answer number two. It will help you a lot. When you are also writing your pictograph, try to make sure that you label each brick with the amount of bricks, like how I have done on the board. We can see that on the board, that one brick is for five other bricks. Then, as you are reading and counting, count in fives to find your answers. Take your time, especially if you're not sure about your five times table. If you're not, that's okay. You can always use your fingers. Just make your thumb the fifth one every time. So now that we are done explaining the pictograph, you're going to do that one by yourself with the data handling. Then when you're done with that page, you can go to the next one, page 14. On page 14, we have some multiplication wheels. Now I know these are not, e these are not difficult for us because we have done them before. So it's our job to multiply the numbers by the wheel that we can see in the middle. We have the two times table, the five times table, and the 10 times table. So I think you can do this one by yourself because it's not new and I am not going to help you. <laughs> if you do get stuck, you can always ask an adult for help, but I'm sure most of you know by now what your answers are. So take your time and I'll see you when you're done with both exercises after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? 
please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music>we have now come to the end of our lesson and i hope you had fun i know i did remember if you're not sure what to do or you got confused that's okay you can always ask an adult for help but make sure that you finish your work by yourself so now that we are done with our work <laughs> which was a lot it's time to sanitize Remember, we sanitize to keep ourselves safe. So make sure that when you sanitize, you are also helping someone else to sanitize the right way. You can show them how to sanitize, just like what we do in the classroom. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I think I saw a little blue head somewhere sneaking up on us. Ah! <laughs> There you are, Sashi. Hello. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.